Hi, this is Sweet June. How's everybody doing today? Coming back at you with another interesting video topic. I hope everybody is doing okay. I'm doing good. I want to talk about, um, there's, you know, I've spoken about it before. There's a lot of black women on here. Um, Kristen Craveland is one of the main ones that she um, is a big advocate of black women expanding their options and um, being with other races of men, not just white men, but being with other races of men. You know, she's a big advocate of that. And her whole channel is pretty much based on that. It's educating black women and letting black women know that um, they, um, can't expand their uh, options and giving them reasons and stating reasons why black women should do it. The only, a little bit, the only issue that I have, and I spoke about in one of my other videos, is that sometimes she has the tendency to um, um, discourage black women from desiring black men. I don't know, maybe that's not her intention, but that's kind of what I perceive, you know, I could be wrong, but, um, that's the only, I don't have a problem with her, um, um, saying, okay, black, black women, there's nothing wrong with you expanding your options. And I don't have a problem with her platform because I sometimes watch her videos. Um, but I, I just, I just, I don't know. I just, it just, it just appears to me that she tries to discourage black women from even desiring or wanting to be with a black man. And, um, there are black women that, that's that's all they want. And they don't want to be with any other race of man, even if it, if it means that they have to die single. Yeah. So that's the only issue that you know I was having. You know, I'm not trying to because I'm not I don't bad mouth anybody on here. But like I said, sometimes I watch her videos. So and there's other black women on here as well um, that um, they're in in interracial relationships or marriages and they. Uh, promote, um, they're a big advocate for black women um, expanding our options and dating outside our race. And um, so that brings me to my current topic. That's a good question. Should black women expand our options? Now, I'm not saying that, disclaimer, I'm not advocating either way. I mean, I'm not saying black women should expand our options, nor am I saying black women shouldn't. But I'm just I'm just going to throw some possible theories out there or some possible reasons why uh, black women do decide to expand their options or black women think about expanding their options. Um, I thought about it myself at one time or another, and I'm going to state some of the possible reasons why black women actually come to that decision or they actually think about doing that. But I'm not advocating either or. So just to throw that out there. But let's just give you give you something to marinate on and give you something to think about. Just some food for thought, you know, basically. Um, that's a good question. Should black women expand our options? Should we expand our dating and marrying options? Um, should we start looking outside of black men um, to, for a, let's face facts, a lot of black women want to get married. You know, our marital rates are pretty low. When, when we think about a marriage mate, most of us prefer, a lot of us prefer to be with a black man. Um, but let's face facts. We got to face facts and we got to look at the facts. I mean, um, first of all, black women outnumber black men. There's more of us than it is of them. We outnumber, we automatically outnumber black men automatically off rip. That's off rip off the top. We outnumber black men. First of all, that's 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 the first dilemma right there. We outnumber them. Second of all, there's a certain percentage of black men that are in prison. There is actually a large percentage of black men that are in the prison system. Now, unless you one of them sisters that don't mind hooking up with a prison brother and marrying someone in prison, 
But me myself, I, I I'm good because um, I, I if I'm gonna get married, I, I need somebody that's got. I, I got to have somebody that's here with me. You know, um, it, it to me, uh, I mean, what's the point? I mean, I'm I'm still gonna be living the, the same way that I I've, I've been living single. What's the point? You know, um, I you know I don't need no jail talk. <laughs> you know, because I, I, you know, that's what I call it, jail talk. You know, that sweet talk. Oh, baby, you so beautiful. Oh, I love you so much. And oh, you're so beautiful. I just, if I could only be there with you, I would do A, B, and C. And oh, yes, honey. You know, that, that's what I call, you know, jail talk. That jail talk. Well, I don't need that jail talk. <laughs> you know, some women, it makes them feel better, gives them a sense of comfort. But I can do without that. So, I don't opt, I think I'll opt out of getting a mate that's in prison. And I'm not saying that every black man that's in prison, because some of them are there for, you know, you know, they're innocent, but they was accused. And then some of them are there for um, minor offenses or whatever. We all know that um, the prison system, you know, is not, hasn't been fair to black men. Um, but that's a whole different video topic. But, you know, there's a certain, not getting off the topic, but there's a certain uh, percentage of black men that's in prison. There's a large percentage of black men that's in prison. So that eliminates them out of the dating pool. You know, if you want to actually marry someone and have them at the crib to provide and protect for you like a man's supposed to, then, okay, that eliminates them out of the equation. Okay, so they're eliminated. There's a certain amount, a percentage of black men that are gay. There is a large percentage of black men that are gay. Okay, if they're gay, then they don't even like women. So, and I don't think you want to marry a gay guy, you know. Um, so, um, not speaking, not saying anything negative about gays, but um, if they're gay, then that means they want the same sex. They don't want to be with a woman. So, okay, well, that takes them, a large percentage of black men that are gay, okay, that takes them out of the equation. You know, if I meet a guy and, and, and I, he seems like he has all the good qualities and um, looking at him as a potential marriage mate and then I find out he's gay, well, okay, well, that's, he's eliminated out of my, my dating options. My, my uh, he, he, okay, he, he's automatically eliminated out of there because, okay, now you're gay, so, okay, I can't consider you then. Okay, so we take those guys out. Now, we didn't took the prison, the brothers in prison, and we took the large percentage of black men that are gay. Okay, we we got to take them out of the equation. Now, I'll go let's you know remind you, but what I said in the beginning that we outnumber black men. Okay, we we took those two groups out. Okay, now they out. We they're, they're not marriageable. We can't marry those guys. Okay, now there's a certain percentage of black men that. Date outside the and marry outside the race. They date white women and women of other races, and they marry white women and women of other races. Okay, that takes we got to take them out the equation too. A certain percentage I don't know what the percentage is, but there's a certain percentage of black men that date and marry white women and women of other races. Okay, well, they want a woman of another race, so they're they obviously wanted a woman of another race. So we can't we can't date and marry them because they didn't already date it and married a woman of another race. Okay, okay, so that takes them out of the equation. You see where I'm going with this? Okay, now there's a certain now, okay, now what we got left over. Now now we're gonna talk about the ones what we got left over. We we eliminated the ones that's in prison. We eliminated the ones that were homosexual, that just like men, they just they want to be with the same sex. They don't you want to be with a woman. And we, we got to take the ones out that marry and date women of other races. That they don't they don't want to be with a black woman for whatever reason. We take we take we take we take we, we took those three groups out. Okay. And we outnumber black men. Okay, now this is you know we got now let's talk about what we got left after we didn't took them out. Let's talk about what we got left. Okay, now out of what we have left, we take those out. Out of what we have left, we have to consider what we have left. Okay, now, out of what we have left, you have a certain amount of percentage 
of black men that are just not marriageable. They're not marriage material. Um, they don't they don't have it together. I mean, men, you know, Jehovah God instituted men to be the provider and the protector. The man is supposed to be the provider and the protector. Well, the man may not be in a position to provide and protect at, at that particular time because maybe he's unemployed or he just doesn't have it together. You know, um, he's unemployed or he's he can't even show that he can support himself. So how can he help support you? Not being a gold digger, just stay stating the facts. Um, so those percentage of black men that just are not ready, they're not financially ready to take on a wife and a family. Um, not saying that they're bad men, but they're just not ready to provide and protect and to to fill that headship role that they're supposed to fill. Okay, well you gotta out of that what's left, you gotta you gotta you can't consider them, you know, at least not at that at this time. And then you have a certain amount, a percentage of black men out of what's left that are um, they players, they, they like to um, go from one woman to the next, sleep with multiple women, uh, have multiple baby mamas, um, they, you know, they sleep with one, get one pregnant, leave her, go to another one, sleep with, with her, get her pregnant. Uh, they're, they're impregnating multiple women, multiple women. Like some, some black men got upwards of my, five baby mamas. They got five, six baby mamas. Yes, you know, those men are not marriage material. They're not, I'm sorry, they're not marriageable. They're not marriageable. Because they are, they, they're they coming into the marriage with too much baggage. They, you got, they got, you, they got five baby mamas. Well, I, I don't think you want to marry somebody with five baby mamas. <laughs> you know, they, they're just, they're, they're not marriageable. And some of them, they bat no bones about it. They bat no bones about the fact that they go from one woman to the next, impregnating one woman to the next. Matter of fact, they put all the blame on the women. They put all the blame for the women that, on the women that they are in that situation, go figure. Um, and, you know, the black community allows them to, to put that blame on the woman, you know. And um, so those men are not marriageable. They're not marriageable because they're not... Uh, they're whoremongers, so to speak. They, they, they go from one woman to the next. Um, they, you know, they don't, that, that tells you a lot about their character. When a man um, has multiple, they always talk about women having multiple baby fathers or whatever, but um, when, men, when men, when they have multiple baby mamas, that shows evidence that they're going from one woman to the next. And I'm not talking about just two, but they, they, they some of these men got multiple baby mamas. They're going from one woman to the next. And then they're not being a father to the kids that they're fathering with these women. They're not fathering their children. They're not being fathers to these children. So those men are not good marriage material. You don't want to really marry a black man like that. He's not going to be a good husband for you. And then if you do marry him, well, most of his check's going to go towards child support. So there you go. You're going to be the main breadwinner in the house because he's not going to be able to provide. Because most of his checks are going to go to paying for these kids. So he's not going to be able to be a very good provider. Okay, so that, that kind of takes him out of the equation. And, you know, and you just, you just have black men out here that they, they're just not marriageable. For whatever reason, they may be uh, out here committing crimes. Uh, like I said, they're whoremongering. They're going from one woman to the next. Uh, they're trying to skim and scam. Um, those black men are not marriage material. They're just not, they're not marriageable. You know, they like to play games. They want to date you. And then they want to play games with you. Um, and then there's a certain amount of percentage of black men that they just don't want to get married. You know, they just don't want to commit. They have commitment phobias and commitment issues. They don't want to commit. They may not be playing a field. Then again, they may be. They may not be. But they, you know, some men, they, they, they want their cake and eat it too. You know, they want to live with you. They want to shack with you. Uh, they want to be with you for years and years and years and not put a ring on your finger. 
they want the best of both worlds. They want their cake and eat it too, but they don't want to make that commitment. That's not a good man for marriage. He's not good marriage material. He's not a suitable uh, marriage mate for you if he wants to string you along and wants to, uh, he wants to get the full benefits of a wife, but not want to make you a wife. You got to cut your losses when you're dealing with a guy like that because, you know, <laughs> I mean, we, we, get, we, we get a year older every year. You know, we don't have time to be waiting on somebody to five and six years for somebody to put a ring on your finger. So, you know, you got to, after two years, you got a decision to make. If he's still not got 50 million excuses and don't want to marry you, then, you know, he doesn't want to. So that man is not good marriage material. So you can't, you can't plant seed where there's no soil, you know, you can't build a house with no foundation. You can't do it. It's, it's, it's virtually impossible. So out of what's left of the, the, the black men that's in prison, the black men that's homosexual and the black men that date and marry outside the rest, uh, the race, and whatever you have left, you got certain black men in that percentage of the black men that we have left that are not marriageable. Now, after all those are eliminated, you have a very, very small percentage of black men that are actually marriageable. Now, that's a small percentage. Now, there's a large number of black women that are in need of a husband because our marital rates are only 30% statistically. So you have a large percentage of black women that are in need of a husband. You have this very small percentage of black men that are marriageable. It's going to be a lot of single black women out here that's not going to have a husband waiting on a black man, a marriageable black man. So that's why. Uh, and then, you know, you have those black men that like to bash. You know, I got to You know, I got to bring that up. you got those black men that like to bash black women that that they just hate black women. They hate they hate us. They're, a lot of them are on, here on YouTube. They hate us. They just hate us. They despise us. They dated some black women or had some experiences with some bad, some bad experiences with some black women. And they made the decision to put us all in the same group. They made the decision to put us all in the same box and say that we're all the same way. And they, they made the decision, because that is a decision. They made the decision to hate us all. So they they don't they, they don't like us. They, they hate us. So um, they don't have no respect for us. Well, you surely don't want to look at someone as a potential mate that doesn't have any respect for you as a, 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 a black woman. You know, but we're a woman before we're black. You know, so... We, we, our race doesn't define us. We're just women that happen to be black, you know, but they don't like black women. There's a certain amount of black men out here that don't like black women. They don't have no respect for us. They ain't got no use for us. You know, I'm just, I'm just stating the facts. I'm not bashing black men. This video is not to bash black men, but I'm just stating the facts. Now, all, the, all that, that small percentage of black men that do desire a black woman, they want to be with a black woman, they and they are marriageable. There's a very, very small percentage, a very small percentage. And so that's why a lot of black women are opting to because they want to get married. They want to start a family. They don't want to be 40s and 50s when they having kids. You know, they don't want to adopt. They don't want to be a single mother. They want to raise, they want to have a husband and they want to have a family and so do it God's way, so to speak. And so instead of waiting around for a marriageable black man to come along, they decide to expand options and look to other races of men. And I mean, me and my sister, we were just talking about this the other day, that she was saying more black women are, and the statistics are going up on that. Statistically, there's still more black men with white women and other races of women than there is black women with white men. But the, but the numbers, the statistics, the numbers are growing. There are more and more white black women that are marrying white men. 
and men of other races, mainly white men. So statistically, you know, those numbers are going up for black women because black women are basically, because um, that small percentage of what I talked about are the marriageable black men that are marriageable. Um, and, and, it's, and we outnumber them. It's only so many black women that's going to get a, a marriageable black man. I mean, let's face facts. So some black women have opted to expand their options and start looking to uh, date and marry um, other races of men because they want a husband. They want to start a family. That's what they want. And so they're opting to look to marry other races of men because of what I just broke down to you. We outnumber black men off rip. And then when you take those variables out of there, certain percentage of black men is a large percentage of black men that's in prison. Because I know I'll never forget, I'll never forget years ago, I was over at my friend's house years ago. I was over, I was over to my friend's house and her neighbor came up and he was a minister and he came up and he said, you know, he, he said, well, he, he said, I, I'm, I, he looked at both of us and he said, I don't, I don't understand why you ladies have a problem with, you know, with finding a husband, you know, and you know, you guys shouldn't have a problem because he looked at the scene and said, we, other words saying we was attractive. And he said, I don't see why you, you, young, you ladies would have a problem. And he said, he said, tell you where your husband is at. He said, your husband is in prison. When he said that, that was deep. I said, whoa, that's deep. He said, our husband was in prison. That's what he said. He said, your husband is in prison. I said, wow, you know, I never stopped to think about that. I said, that, that, that just, that, that was mind blowing. That, that really blew my mind when he said that. I'm like, wow, that's deep. I said a large percentage of black men are in prison. And some of them, you know, not all of them are bad because some of them are there because it was, um, there was, un, you know, accused of doing, of committing a crime because a black man can just be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And then and they, they be trying to say we all look alike, which we don't. Oh, okay, well, well, you fit the description of the guy that robbed the store. Or you fit the description of the guy that raped this woman. Okay, so he gets he gets un, unjustly uh, in, in prison because he fit the description of somebody else that committed the crime. You know, you got a lot of black men that's in prison for that reason, and then you got black men that's in prison for 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 selling marijuana. Well, marijuana is legal now, so what are they going to do? Are they going to let them out? You know, they legalize marijuana now across the board, so. <laughs> A lot of them are, believe it or not, and they're, and, 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 and they're tacking on huge, they're putting, giving them huge sentences for stuff that, and that's what Kim Kardashian is working on now. Kim Kardashian is actually trying to be a lawyer, and she's trying to get some of these people off that are sitting in prison for, you know, like a, a first-time drug offense. You know, the lady, the first lady that she freed, um, she was like, this was her first drug offense, and she was doing like over 20 years, you know? She didn't kill anybody, but this got involved, made a made a bad judgment, made a bad mistake, and got you know caught selling drugs or involved with that. But it was her first offense. She shouldn't have got that kind of time for her first offense. So see, that's what she's doing. That's what she's doing. She's, you know, and I I, I really admire her for that. And so it's a lot of black men that's sitting in prison for that reason, you know, um, for stuff, and, and they're getting all this time tacked on them. For stuff that they could have been out of prison for. You know what I mean? And so that doesn't make them bad people. They just made a mistake. I know plenty of guys that got out of prison, did time in prison. And they got out and they're productive members of society. You know, if given a chance, they can turn it around. Not all of them are in there for murder and rape or whatever. You know? So that's a good, that was, when he said that, that just blew my mind. He said, you know, y'all husband is in prison. I'm like, why? Wow. <laughs> I never thought about that. That's deep. <laughs> yes. So when you take that out, there's a large percentage of black men that's in prison. Large percentage of them are gay. Well, they don't want women. So there you go. That eliminates them. 
and then a large percentage, and a certain percentage of black men that they marry outside the race. Well, they didn't already date it, or they didn't already married a woman of another race. So say, okay, so you can't have them. And out of that's what's left. You got some, whatever's left over. You got some black men in there that's not marriageable. So that 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 leaves us with some pretty slim pickings. <laughs> so that's why a lot of black women are deciding to expand their options. You know, I ain't gonna say I ain't thought about it at one time or another myself. You know, but I I, I love a black man. I prefer a black man. Um, you know. But I, I, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to front. I have thought about it. Because, you know, you're the top, the wild, you're just like, wow, don't, don't look like I'm going to meet me a marriageable black guy, black man. So, you know, oh, okay, well, let me start the, expanding my options and looking, you know, yeah. So a lot of black women are making that decision. And that's why black women is not because they hate black men. Because a lot of black women love black men they prefer to marry a black man but they just they was ready to start a family and they, they, they didn't want to be having no kids in their 40s and 50s i'd be trying to have one at 50 you know and they did not want to be single moms you know they wanted to have the husband they wanted to have a husband in place before they decided to make to have a family they didn't already got their career and making their money okay now they want to go to next step you know they want to get their husband and they want to start their family. Well, they want the same things that we want to say. Us black women want the same things. We want the same things that any other race of women want. At the end of the day, we're just, I, I say that I'm a woman that just happens to be black. My race does not define me. I'm a woman that just happens to be black. We're women that just happen to be black. We want the same things that all the other women want out there. We, we all want the same things. When we when black women and white women get in the room and we start talking to each other, the first thing we talk about is our kids and our pregnancies and our labor. You know, we, we have those kind of conversations. Things that are common with all women across the board. All women can relate to across the board. And then we, we'll talk about men and marriage. And we all, we all want the same things. When you get black women and white women together, we all talking about the same things, the same things. And that's because we all, as women, want the same things. OK, we want a good marriage, marriage mate, you know, a lot in a lot of women, black women want to start a family, but they don't want to be a single mom. And I don't blame them. I wouldn't recommend that they be a single mom. So there you go. And some of them do. Uh, at, at some point opt to be a single mother and some of them decide to to adopt which is good because you're taking a child that um, that's been in the system you're taking them out of the foster care system which is not good and you're giving them a stable home that's that's all good too but a lot of these women they want to have children of their own they want to start a family of their own and they and they're, they're not and these these a lot of these black women are successful they getting into a certain at a certain level in their career, and they want somebody that's going to be on their level. Well, you can't call a, a a woman a gold digger for wanting someone that's at her level. There's nothing wrong with that. We all know that there's problems when a a, a woman marries a man that they're not, not they're not at the same level. Because first of all, the man has a problem with it. In most cases, the man has a problem with it. And he gives the woman a hard time, you know, if she's making more money. Men have, I don't want to make more money than my husband. If I ever get married, I don't want to make more money. I don't. I, I don't. I don't. Well, right now, I'm not in danger of that. <laughs> but, um, no, I don't want to make more money than my husband. There's, there's too many problems. I've seen too many cases where the men gave the women a hard time for being more successful and making more money. Men don't like it. They have a problem with it. You know, that God put in them to be protectors and providers. He put that those things in them. And then that's the mentality they have. In our mind, we're thinking, what's the, what's, what's the difference? You know, in our mind, we're thinking, okay, all of it, well, I, what mine, mine is yours and what yours is mine, what's the difference? In our mind, we, we don't care. But to a man, it's a big deal to a man if his wife is making more money 
and is more successful than he is. That's that's it's it's an ego thing, you know. Um, it, it really affects them, you know. The male ego is something to be reck reckoned with, and it really affects them. Um, so there's we all know there's problems there, and then um, you know, we've seen cases where women have married men that wasn't on their level, and they got taken for a ride financially. We, we know those cases are in, in the entertainment business. We know of those cases. So it is not really advisable for a woman to marry someone that is, you know, that's not that's not on her level. That's not being a gold digger. That's just being real. Because there's problems when, you know, there's there's, there's problems when, when, when she marry, when that happens. So um, when black women... A lot of these black women are successful. They're getting their degrees and they're successful. They reach a le certain level of success. They want somebody that's at their level. And they're having a hard time finding a, a marriageable black man that's at that level. And sometimes they can find it in another race. A man, you know, white man or whatever. I mean, that's just the way it is a lot of times. You know, that's just the way it is out here. So, not to say she hate black men. But like I said, we want the same things as every every other woman wants. Okay, just threw some possible theories out there for you. I'm not speaking for or against, just throwing some possible things out there, something for you to marinate on. Stay tuned. I got some more interesting video topics coming up. I need you to guys to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. I didn't really I didn't know I had one, but I have one. So I need you guys to hit that notification bell so every time I do a video, it'll pop up on your stuff. So I need you guys to do that because I got 600 and almost 700 subscribes, but every time I do a video, why I only got 30-something hits on it? You all, not Everybody ain't watching my videos now. So I need you guys to hit that bell. Hit that notification bell, and I need you to subscribe. please subscribe and like and share my video. So stay tuned. I got some more interesting videos topic, topics coming up. Peace and love. This is Sweet Jim.